that's still stemming from negative past experiences. But either way, he's not interested. He doesn't want it. And that guy specifically is being clear or he has said to you, I don't want a relationship. Hey everybody, this is Stefan Labossier, AKA Stefan Speaks Back with another dating and relationship advice video for women. All right, uh, we're gonna be talking about the three reasons why he won't commit to a relationship. So before we get started, as always, be sure to like this video, share this video, um, subscribe to my channel, click that notification button, and leave your comments below. What, what do you think is a reason why he won't commit to a relationship, all right? Now, the unfortunate reality is that there's a lot of women who come across this situation, and it can become very frustrating, it can become very discouraging, and it can cause some of you to think that men in general do not want commitment. Let me make clear, that's not true, all right? The reality is that tons of men are willing to commit to a woman. They are looking for a relationship, they desire it, they even want marriage in their life. Do not get uh, blinded by the individuals who don't want that or who uh, speak down on commitments and relationship. That does not represent the majority, all right? I can tell you with confidence, the majority of men do want a relationship, but they can meet a woman, and for various reasons which we're gonna talk about, they do not want to commit to a relationship with her or with you. And again, that's not something to internalize and feel bad about because we are not for everyone. We're not everyone's cup of tea. Everyone's not your cup of tea. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the way life works. But I want you to understand what's going on because you may be caught up in confusion and frustration because you're dealing with a man or have dealt with a man or God forbid you're going to end up dealing with a man, but we, we hope that does not happen who does not want to commit to a relationship. So, reason number one, he does not want to commit to a relationship. He was never really interested in one. Now again, though I say to you, yes, I do believe a lot of men, the majority of men want commitment, want relationship. There are men at the current moment who have convinced themselves or told themselves they don't want it. They're not interested in it for various reasons. It is not on their radar. But not wanting a commitment does not mean not wanting a woman in their life. Not wanting a commitment does not mean not wanting intimacy in their life. So these men will still pursue women, pursue you, even though they have no interest in a relationship right now. And I mean to the point where the, a famous woman that they adore could walk through the door right now and they would still say, nope, I'm not committing to you. I'm not interested because they're just not trying to go there. Various reasons could be he, he doesn't feel like he's where he's, he wants to be in life. He may feel like I just got out of a bad one. I'm not ready for another one. He's worn down by his previous relationships and the damage that they have done to him. It could be various things. Or maybe he's gotten to a point where he doesn't believe in monogamy. And again, I would say in most cases, that's still stemming from negative past experiences. But either way... He's not interested. He doesn't want it. And that guy specifically is being clear or he has said to you, I don't want a relationship. And you have to learn to not ignore when a man says that. When he says that, embrace it for what it is and don't convince yourself that you can change his mind or that he will decide something to want something different later on, that you can somehow put it on him or show him your greatness and that'll make him want a relationship. No. He says he doesn't want one, then you have to make a choice. You're either going to deal with him knowing that that's the case. You shouldn't, but you're a grown adult. You make your own choices. But again, you shouldn't, okay? Or you're just going to say, you know what? This doesn't work for me. I want a relationship, so we're going to go our separate ways, which is the ideal route to take, all right? So he just was never interested in one. The number two reason why he won't commit to a relationship is because he's not over his ex. So this, I honestly believe this is more common than people realize. Now, when I say not over his ex, ex does not always mean the very last person he dated, 
all right? X could mean two girlfriends ago, three girlfriends ago. Hell, X could mean a woman that wasn't even his official girlfriend, but a woman that he felt deeply in love with or had deep feelings for, and the situation didn't work out, and he has not gotten over that. He has not gotten to a place where he's ready to let go of that completely. And so, in the meantime, he still desires female companionship. And if you're noticing the pattern here, no matter what many men are going through, a lot of times they will still desire female companionship. I'm not saying that's healthy or that's the way they should be doing things. I'm simply explaining that is what happens in a lot of situations. And so despite him not being over his ex, he wants someone there, but he's not going to be willing to commit to that woman. Because in his mind, either he already knows that, you know what, his heart is elsewhere. And he may still be holding on to hope that some things can change and, and one day they can get back together, you know, or he just hasn't gotten over the pain from that situation. One way or another, he's not going to allow himself to be fully vulnerable to you and to fully embrace the idea of being with you because someone else occupies his heart. Now, this is a scenario where you won't always know it because not every man is going to tell you, I haven't gotten over my ex. Hell, I would argue most of them aren't going to say that. Most people in general don't verbalize that. You may catch on to it depending on how he speaks about his previous situations, um, maybe because in, in some scenarios he's still friends with the ex and still has her around in a capacity that seems very uncomfortable for any new woman in his life. These are the signs I can tell you, but again, this is one that you may not see. So you can't always wait for the explanation to validate letting a guy like this go. If he's unwilling to commit to you and commit to a relationship, and that's what you want, then he needs to go regardless. But I'm just explaining to you one of the possible reasons why he won't do it, despite being around you, entertaining you, showing you love in certain ways or showing you interest in certain ways. He just hasn't gotten over his past lover and it's nothing you can do about it. You can't change it. You just got to let him go. Now, number three. And before I say number three, I want to show you guys my book, The Man God Has For You best-selling book. It has thousands of reviews. Women are loving it. You will find so much in it. Click the link in the description or in the comment section, also available on Amazon. Again, the man God has for you seven traits to, well, I forgot the, the headline, seven traits to help you determine your soulmate. My book, and yet I had to read it real quick to remember it. So much going on. But anyways, let's move on to number three. He likes you but he doesn't think you're the one. So this is an unfortunate scenario, but again, extremely, extremely common. There are a lot of situations where the man finds a woman and he genuinely likes that woman. He genuinely likes you, all right? He does desire to have you in his life, so to speak, but he does not think you are the one. He does not think you are the woman he wants to spend his life with. And so rather than tell you that outright because he knows by saying it, he will more than likely lose you, he will drag you along, all right? And he's not, some guys will take it to boyfriend, girlfriend, official relationship commitment knowing they'll never marry you. Other guys won't even take it to the boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. They don't want to take it that far, but they want to find other ways to keep you in place, to keep you there at, your, at his convenience. Again, not saying this is okay, not saying this is right or healthy, but this is what happens. And so I'm mentioning it also because many of you take the fact that he likes you and shows you behavior and even says things that expresses his like and desire for you. And you hold on to that, hoping that that is your path to getting the commitment from him. That this means in time, he will come around. But again, if he is unwilling to commit to you now, and he's unwilling to even set a plan of, okay, it's one thing to say, you know what? I need a couple months, so I need to get some things together. Give me till this month and we'll get it and we'll make it happen. 
Then I can understand you wanting to try to work with him. But again, even in trying to work with him, I would argue do not get romantically involved with him. You do not need to and should not give a man the benefits of a relationship who will not commit to you in a relationship. If he cannot give you that, why are you giving anything of yourself to him? If he can't give you what you need, why are you giving him what he wants? This is how women shoot themselves in the foot all the time because you essentially have already become a girlfriend without him even giving you that label and official title and some people might say well titles don't matter yes they do because if i'm really that into you if i'm serious about you why would it be hard to give it to you why would it be hard to say we are in an official relationship or you are my girlfriend how difficult is that if i'm serious about us the reality is that when people struggle to do that is because they're not serious and again, he may like you. He may really, really like you, but he doesn't think you're the one. And for that reason, he will not commit. But again, don't get caught up in thinking, oh, he just has commitment fears and commitment issues. And I'm not saying that doesn't exist in this world. What I am saying is in a lot of scenarios, it's just that he doesn't want to commit to you. And you will see that same man get with another woman months later engaged but claiming the whole time with you that he didn't want marriage, commitment, whatever. Do not fall for that. Even if he has legitimate commitment, fears, and issues, then he needs to work on that. He needs to go to therapy. He needs to conquer that issue so that you guys can have a healthy relationship. But do not give yourself to that man in the meantime. The most you can do is be an encouraging, supporting friend if you can handle it. That's always the key. Don't fool yourself. Many of you say, oh, we're just going to be friends, and next thing you know, you're in his bed, all right? Next thing you know, you're doing girlfriend things for him. Next thing you know, you're giving him money, all kinds of stuff. Please, please take a step back, and until he can give you full commitment, you do not need to give him full benefits. Hell, you don't need to be giving him any benefits other than what a platonic friend would receive, plain and simple. So anyways, those are the three reasons why he will not commit to a relationship. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Be sure to get your copy, The Man God Has For You, available on Amazon. Link in the description and in the comment section. Like, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.